Hey guys, it's Trey back again with another video. And in today's video, I want to show you guys how you can use a database in your APIs. So I'm surprised I haven't made a video about this before, um, but it's, today is as good as time as any to go ahead and do this. So basically, um, in most of my, the applications I write on here, um, I show you guys like how to store data basically by using files or whatever. So um, in a real application, you will want to use a database. Today, I want to show you how to actually get one set up and how to actually pull data from it and return it in your pretty much in your REST request. All right, so um, to start off, uh, you guys will need a database. I will be using my SQL. Uh, I show I have a video showing you how to download and install my SQL on a Linux machine. Um, go ahead and check that video out if you have not in installed MySQL on your machine yet. And once you get there, I will show you how to pretty much every step on how to get from having nothing at all and pulling data from your database. All right. So to start off with, let's go ahead and um, log into our MySQL instance and create a database and a table that we want to actually pull the data from. So uh, let's uh, start off by writing the command MySQL and then you'll use uh, dash U to specify user. I'm going to use my root user here and then um, dash P so you can provide a password. So when you hit enter, just type in your password for your root user whatever that is that you set up and then once in here we can go ahead and create our database so we're going to type in create database and we're going to call this one SQL test DB all right and don't forget your semicolon click enter and it should create your database all right so now once you've created your database you can uh, type in use SQL test db and that's the name of the database hit enter and as you can see it says database changed so now that we're inside of this database we want to go ahead and create a table so I'm going to create a table called test so I'm going to uh, type in create table test all right and then inside of these parentheses we want to put in our columns so I want to have an ID column all right, so here I'm specifying that it is a big integer, it's not null, and it is also auto increment, which means we don't have to specify it when we insert a an entry into this um, table. All right, so the second thing I want to have is a name, and then I want to have a description, and then we want to specify that the primary key is the IDs. All right, so you click enter and that will create the table. If you're not familiar with this syntax, just go ahead and Google um, how to create a table within uh, MySQL, and I'm pretty sure you will find a plethora of people who have shown you how to do this. All right, so once we do that, we should be able to check for the table. So we can type in show tables with a semicolon, and we see that we have our test table. And we can also check the contents of that table by typing in describe test and there we go we see the three columns that we just created their types or their null and all this other extra data all right so cool so once we do that i'm going to create a user specifically for this database all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type create user and then i will call this one sql tester and i'm going to say at localhost and then we'll say identified by my secret one. All right. So now we've created a user. And now we want to grant privileges to this user uh, to be able to select from the test table. All right. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to type in grant select on SQL test DB dot test two and then we're going to put SQL tester 
at localhost. All right. So now we've allowed this user, SQL tester, to be able to use the select privilege on the test table that we just created. All right. So after we do this, we want to type in flush privileges. All right. Um, the only thing, only other thing we need to do before we actually close this out is actually insert something into that test table. Because if we select from our test table right now, we'll see there is nothing in there. So let's do an insert. So we'll say insert into test. And then we're going to want to pass in a name and a description. And then we'll put the values here. And the name will be test one. And the description will be this is a test record. All right. So now we've inserted. So now if we run that same um, select from the test, we see that we have one record in here. So this is the record we're going to pull back from our API. All right. So once you do that, you can quit out of here. All right. And now I'm in a an empty folder that I created. So this is just an empty directory with nothing in it. As you can see, there's nothing in there. So now we're going to um, set this up so that um, we can install node packages from NPM and everything. So we're going to type in NPM init dash Y. All right. And that will create your package.json file up here. And then after this, we want to install two packages. So we're going to want to install um, Express and we're going to want to install MySQL. So we're going to type in npm i dash capital S and then we're going to say Express and we're going to say MySQL 2. All right. All right. Once you hit enter, it should install those packages. And now we're going to actually get into coding this up. So um, the first thing we want to do is create a file to actually write the code into. So we're going to say touch server.js to create the file. Or you can come up here and right click do new file or click this little new file icon up here and create it that way. However, you want to create a file as long as you have a file. Inside of here, we want to import Express and MySQL. So we're going to say um, we're going to uh, require the package Express. And we're also going to require the MySQL2 package. All right. And I'll just call this MySQL. Okay, so now that we have that in, we can go ahead and set up our Express server just like any old regular Express server. So we're going to say const app equals Express. All right. And then we'll do um, app.get. We'll do the root. All right. Then we'll just say res.send hello world all right and then we'll say app dot listen we're going to listen on port 3000 all right so that should set up our express server so let's go ahead and run this just to make sure that our express server is working correctly so uh, you type in node server js into your terminal and it should print out this statement here all right so now i want to go to my browser and check out our API to see if it's working at the moment. So we're going to go to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost 3000. And as we can see, we printed out our hello world string. So we know that this is working. So I'm going to stop this and I'm going to go up here and we're going to actually go ahead and write out uh, what we need for MySQL to work. All right. So I'm going to erase that in there. I'm going to go underneath our app declaration and I'm going to create a connection pool that we can use to query our database. All right. So I'm going to say const pool. Pool is our connection pool. We're going to use this MySQL object and we're going to use a function called create pool. So basically this function takes in an argument and this argument um, is an object that has certain parameters that can help basically build a connection string. All right. So uh, the first thing we need is the host, which is localhost for us. And then we need the database, which we set as 
SQL test DB. All right. Then we need the user, which is SQL tester. And then we need the password for this user. And we said that is my secret one. And then I'm going to set up a connection uh, limit, which is basically going to say how many threads this pool will have pretty much. All right. So once we have this, we are we will be able to use that um, connection pool to connect to our database and run a query. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use our pool. And then we're going to say pool dot query. And then right here, the first argument will be the SQL query that you want to run. So we're going to say select star from test. All right. And remember, test is our table that we created. And then the second argument here is going to be a callback that will either return an error or the result. So first argument is an error. Um, the second is the actual result. All right. So if we have an error, we're going to want to go ahead and print that out and return that to the user. So we're going to say if error, then we want to console dot well console dot error and print out our error. And then we want to res dot send the error and we'll return because we don't want to do anything else after that. Um, but if we don't have an error, then we just want to send the result. All right. So this is pretty much it. This will query our database, select everything from test and return it as a result if there is not an error. All right. So let's save this and let's test it out to see if everything works. So you go back to your terminal, type in node server dot JS, go back to your browser and hit refresh and boom there we go we see that uh, we have our ID which is one from the um, from the database and then we have the name which is test one which is what we set and did the description which is correct what we set in the database so we see that we are pulling back the data from the database using um, MySQL so this is pretty much it this is a, a basic start for you this will actually get you up and running for um, using a database with with your express server so I chose to use MySQL I'm pretty sure there are other packages out there they're kinda probably kinda similar to this one um, just go ahead look at the documentation and see how you can actually create a connection to your database and pull the information out so this is just for MySQL and as you can see it works fine you could add more endpoints here and select different things from the database um yeah and that's pretty much it for this one thanks for watching like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz and i will see you guys in the next video